Hi there, I'm Elroy. Coming up on episode 4 of Remote Viewing, in season 1 of Frisky Dingo, Killface wants to drive the earth into the sun, but just can't seem to get the job done. The Futurama gang return for more Year 3000 adventures in the Beast with a Billion Backs DVD. Getting trapped in an apartment building infested with zombies is all part of the job for a Spanish news crew in the Spora import Wreck. In Nosferatu we discover that long before they were running detective agencies on TV, vampires were frightening the pants off silent film audiences during the 1920s. All in this episode of Remote Viewing. Created by the team responsible for C-Lab 2021, Frisky Dingo is a bizarre cartoon series which follows the exploits of a wannabe evil villain who goes by the cuddly name of Killface. Unfortunate financial problems and a rather incompetent and self-obsessed superhero stand in the way of Killface's plans to annihilate mankind. Ah! Wait! No! No, no! No! Silence, no! dog! Please! He's remarkable. Mm-hmm. Phil, Brent, Brent, mm-hmm. Phil, now what the deuce is wrong with those couplings? Melling, they keep melting. Oh. Oh! Did Lorraine get the gift card? Uh, yes, uh, she did. That was very nice of you, sir. Nonsense, Philip. How's she doing? Well, she's... she's still... well, fat. Well, give us some time, man. Phil's wife just had a little baby girl. Great. Six months ago. Phil, positive reinforcement. Yes, sir. And speaking of, with the couplings, can't we just blah blah... <laughs> Reroute them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that should work. It's going to cost some more. Talk to Charlene, get a PO number, and get it done. Will do, Mr. K. And seriously, uh, yes, sir. Lorraine needs to know you still find her desirable. Yes, sir. Because God knows I do. I'm kidding. Get out of here. Outside, 2 0. <sighs> you see, Brent, we all have jobs <laughs> Great, to do. There goes my pet. My job Great. is to complete the Annihilatrix and destroy mankind by driving this vile planet straight into the sun. Wait, I have another idea. And your listen, job listen. is to market no, it. No, listen, we can get. The 13 episode season 1 DVD is available now, and if you're a fan of Adult Swim's other titles, this is a definite must own. Bender the crew, I have reached the gateway to another universe. Hey, other universe, bite my shiny metal leg! Futurama returns to DVD players everywhere with the release of the second of four proposed straight to DVD movies. The Beast with a Billion Backs tells Futurama's most off-the-wall story to date, and when you're talking Futurama, that's saying something. A rip in space allows contact with another universe, and the inevitable happens. That's right, everyone on Earth finds themselves in a blossoming relationship with a gigantic tentacled creature from the other cosmos. While this isn't the strongest stuff we've seen from the Futurama team, it's a fun ride nonetheless. People of everywhere, I have shocking news! Hey, butt out! These aren't tentacles! As with all Futurama releases, this DVD is packed with fantastic extras. The Beast with the Billion Backs hits Aussie shelves on the 6th of August. When it comes to scaring the hell out of people, lately it seems like the Spanish are getting a little too good at it. Wreck is a damn scary movie in anyone's language. It's a claustrophobic horror thriller shot by a news crew who follow a team of firefighters when they're called to rescue an elderly woman who's apparently trapped in her apartment. What follows is a panic-filled single-camera experience that will have you at the edge of your seat, if not under it. And to make matters worse, someone had to go and add a creepy kid to the equation. Cuidado, tío. Jennifer. Tranquila, eh. Dame la manita. Ten cuidado. Dame la manita. ¿Eh? Dame más a los ojos. ¿Sí? There's already a Hollywood remake of Wreck in the works by the name of Quarantine. So if you find subtitles scarier than zombies, you may want to hold out for that one. But for those of us who can read, the good news is that Wreck 2 is already on the way. The very 
idea of blowing the cobwebs off a silent movie from the 1920s and playing it on your brand new high definition plasma television probably seems about as sensible as trying to play an 8 track cartridge with an iPod. But this newly restored release of the classic horror film Nosferatu certainly deserves a look. Made in 1922, Nosferatu is an unofficial adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula. By today's standards, the movie is more comical than it is actually frightening. However, despite the technical limitations of the day, this film's influences can still be seen in many modern horror movies. The two-disc director's suite release contains a host of special features and deserves pride of place in any movie nerd's collection. Visit ElroyOnline.com for reviews and source links to all the stuff you've seen in this episode. And keep an eye on RemoteViewing.com.au for new episode releases. Until next time, remember, you can never be too prepared for the zombie uprising. Hey Elroy, I've got this great idea. Ooh, sorry! I'm okay, I'm okay. And I think you killed my Zoom.